How's everyone doing? I think we're going to have a couple people probably filter in right at four. So let's give them some time. Let's get stretched out a little bit. Let's start on the ground, right leg in, left leg out. You guys got some music. You guys can keep one earphone in just to make sure you guys can hear me so we can stay on pace with each other. I think tonight's gonna be just about trying to set a rhythm and stay with the pace that we set. But if we need to get a little jacked up and I don't have music going during this, we wanna give you a better auto, uh, audio quality. So cue up your favorite songs, should be a good one today. But make sure you guys are following along with the pace. In for a butterfly, we're going to do a butterfly twice the second time. In between, we're going to re release our legs, then we're going to pull our feet in a little bit closer and apply pressure on our legs. So let's release <clears throat> a little bit further this time. And we're going to have our elbows wide, and we're going to press down. We're going to kick our right leg out and across. We're going to lift up and squeeze. Turn this side. Might be a black shadowy figure in here with the lighting, too. So I apologize. Squeeze up to your chest, pull, pull, and same foot goes down. Let's reach back, look back. Switch, press the foot over. Remember, we're going with the squeeze first. Pull up, try to keep your body tall. Hopefully, you guys have been stretching. I know that's pretty tough to do, but we have the time to do it right now. Let's try to get more flexible. It's definitely been a personal goal of mine, too. Same foot goes down. Let's reach back. Hopefully, you guys heard that back crack. That was awesome. Ooh. All right, we're going to reach down one more hamstring. We're going to reach with both. All right, we're going to cross. We're going to try to do a 90 degree angle. The foot that's right in front. Our back leg is going to try to kick backwards. We're going to try to have my arm on each side of that 90 degree angle right here that we're setting for ourselves. And we're going to try to lean forward, moving forward while keeping our chest up. It's kind of tough to get that back leg completely straight back. It's normal if it's a little bit up to the side. Try to keep your chest up, pull, and let's sit back. And we're going to switch. So we go 90 degree angle front foot, back foot, kick it back. It will help if you try to place that one hand on the floor. You might notice one side of your body, you're a little bit more flexible. So this side, my knee, it's really tough to get that to the ground with where my foot is. So if my foot's directly back, you notice my knee comes up. So that means I gotta get a little bit more flexible on this side and a little bit tight. Let's hold. Let's come up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have one knee on the ground. We're going to lean forward. Resisting with the knee that's on the ground, my knee should not go over my toe, but it should get close to it. So leaning in, resisting with that knee that's on the ground. Feel it in your hip flexor. Looks like we got a good group tonight. I like it. And let's switch. Right knee forward. We're going to lean in. Don't let that knee go past the toe. Let's go near it. Resisting with that one knee that's down up tall, and let's feel it in our hip flexor. Awesome. All right, we're gonna be on the ground for one more. We're gonna lie down on our side. We're gonna do a lying down quad stretch. So we wanna make sure that our hips and our back are perfectly straight and in line. We can kind of add a little bit of an arch, feel a deeper stretch. So it's hold there. And then let's switch to roll over the other side. Try to make your body in a straight line, unless we're going to arch. And let's pull. Right, 
this last one that we're going to do three types of calf stretches here so i'll rotate so you guys can see first one pretty standard you guys are trying to go heel to the floor every time you do a calf stretch heel to the floor push that heel through the floor hold once you feel it tight stretching should not feel good all the time if you're doing it right it should hurt strength coach taught me that in college initially at least and then let's go to our right we're going to do both right after this one push that heel to the floor and then we're going to go both walk our hands up a little bit if we can palms to the floor let's push our weight back walk it all the way up nice and slow take a deep breath if you felt a little bit of a head rush like i just did okay what we're going to do here the first 20 minutes or so for a metabolic workout so it's a little bit of a fat burning workout um point of that one is you know we just want to feel a little bit lighter when we come back okay um i know it's probably really really easy to eat a lot of junk food too me personally, slightly full PC yesterday, so we got to do a little bit of fat burning workout partially because that's my fault. So, other than that, we got 15 total exercises with the first 20 minutes, the second uh, about 10 minutes or so. Uh, we're just going to crush some strength stuff. So, um, other than that, let's get a quick drink of water. One to two steps before we get started, and we're going to be starting with a walk out to reach. I've done this one to start the past couple weeks. Walk out to reach. We're going to walk out on our hands. Our arm is going to be extended. We're going to hold for three seconds. And we're going to walk it back up. Back down. Alternate. We're going to try to reach that one arm a little bit on an angle while we're holding. We're not holding it directly under our shoulders. Okay. Then we're walking it up after a three second hold. Let's keep it going here. Alternating every time. Maintain this rhythm. So we've been saying a lot of these workouts, if you guys have been joining, I know we've had a couple of returners in here. But the first two of every cycle of exercise that you guys do, I want you to set the pace for yourself. And then you got to follow it. So if you need to catch your breath, maybe you're starting to work out here. I catch my breath. I want to go slow on this one and just pay attention to what he's saying. And I'm going to go at this pace. Okay. Or maybe we're cruising like we were doing before. We're up here. We're walking it out. We're really reaching. We're pushing ourselves three seconds and we're going fast and way up. Coming up every single time is important. So make sure we're taking a deep breath in there as well. Let's keep alternating here. Stay with me. Warming up our core. It's the center of everything. And let's take a breather. All right, first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna do 30 seconds um, of a modified push up. Okay, it's not a regular push up. We're not really gonna be actually pressing down. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of a hold halfway through a motion here. Okay, so for 30 seconds, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be straight on push up position just like normal. We're going to walk up halfway. We're going to hold right here. We're going to hold for a 10 count. And then we're going to walk it back and we're just going to breathe in this position right here. Okay. So let's go together. 30 seconds. We're holding right here in a straight arm. Straight arm. Breathe, get comfortable, rolling up the shoulders a little bit. Okay. Adjust your feet, shake them out a little bit so we're feeling good. Nothing is really flexed. We're all doing this together. So we're at 15 seconds. So we're going to walk our hands in and we're down. Last 10 seconds here. Let's hold halfway to our feet. We're holding three, two, one, and walking it back up. Quick hold, deep breath, and let's relax. All right, we're going to do that one again. So let's shake that out real quick. Shake it out. 
right away. 30 seconds on a clock, we're up. Up and breathing. Get back to the equilibrium here. Let's hold, let's shake out what we need to. Let's adjust. We're going into one, we're walking our hands halfway. We're going low. We're trying to go forehead to the floor and we're holding right here. Oh, we got it. Three, two, one, walk it. And let's hold it here. Balance and rest. Nice work. Solid little upper body warm up after we warmed up our core a little bit there. Okay. Now let's warm up our legs. So let's get up. Let's get up. We're going to do two different variations here. We're going to start with alternating lunges, walking out, and then we're going into wide leg squats. So step out, back up tall. Step out, back up tall. Let's keep going. Remember the first two. We're setting the pace for ourselves. And then we got to keep up. Halfway there, the lunge is already. We got it. Four seconds. We got it. It's a good workout group. I like it. One more for good luck. Wide leg. Let's get low. A little bit wider, actually. Should be there. Trying to keep our toes facing forward. Really, really, really emphasize how low we're getting. Let's feel the burn a little bit. Keep breathing. We got 10 seconds. Oh, we got it. Let's get five more in. One, two, three. Let's get low. And rest. Crush that one. Quick drink. Quick drink, one to two sips, so we're not slushing. Okay. I had to go out and risk it all to get this thing so I can stay hydrated. Hopefully, you guys are drinking a lot of water. Okay, this forces me to. I know, I know my team's out there making fun of me right now for sure, but I'm staying hydrated. All right, we got a 30 second plank, then we're gonna flip over. And we're going to do some ski abs. Okay. 30 second plank, 30 second ski abs. I'll demonstrate the ski abs right away. Ready? Let's get up. Had a nice little breather there. We should be ready to go. It's only 30 seconds, so let's focus on our form. Halfway there. Focus on our form. Tighten it up. Breathe. And right away, you see that's what we're gonna do. Our arms gonna be up. We're gonna jump up to our hand, back out, up to our hand, back out. We're ready, we're ready. Three, two, one, and let's go for it. Up, back, up, back. So find a rhythm. Try to get all the way up. Hopefully you guys aren't kicking anything in your parents' houses. Don't hate me, hate yourself for setting that pace. Woo. Let's keep going. Remember, you set that pace. We keep going. We only got four seconds. And rest. Breathe. Six seconds to breathe, because I need to as well. Remember, this is between you and yourself sometimes. Some of those tough ones. You're setting the tone on the first couple. And fight to maintain. Let's stand up slowly. All right, we're gonna regroup. We're gonna be up tall. A little bit past shoulder width apart. Arms are gonna be out. I know my head's chopped off on the screen. That's okay. Focus should be here. We're gonna be pulling our arms back. And we're gonna flex our arms. Keep our arms flexed. We're doing some tight arm circles. Keep going, keep going. I'm just adjusting so maybe you guys can see. Pulling those shoulder blades back. Let's feel the burn. Regular arm circles, kind of silly warm up. Just to get your body flowing just before match, they're cool. These ones were tight, were flexed. Should be a little tougher. Keep those arms strict. 
And let's rest. Shake it out. Breathe for a second. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do here, guys, we're going to get into a variation of a hip raise. So we're going to be down on the ground. The emphasis is going to be to feel goofy and get your legs up as high as you can, but maintain control on the way out. I think the way out is actually the hardest part. Okay, yeah, arms are going to be out to the side. We're going to point up to the sky, point out, up to the sky. I'm actually lifting my hips up off the ground, and then pointing out. I have to do a couple by pointing out. Really gets your abs going. Okay, so let's say, let's find a rhythm here where we feel comfortable and we can just maintain good form. All right, we're going to go for 30 seconds. And we're going now. Up, out. Let's go. Get up. Now we're going out. Out as far as you can. Get up, get out. Come on, let's go push. Up. Five seconds. Push. I got lazy. My last one, so I gotta do one more. And out. All right, let's flip over. You guys are gonna be with me in a little strength hold here. Okay, three different positions here. Some of you guys might know this one. When I say all the way up, we are gonna be right here, a little bit of a bend in our elbow. When I say middle, we're gonna be about halfway to the floor. When I say all the way down, we're gonna be just before my chest touches the ground, okay? We're gonna go for a quick 20 seconds. Quick 20 seconds. Are we ready? We can do this. Three, two, one, all the way up, middle, down, middle, all the way up, all the way down, hold, breathe, hold, right through it, middle, all the way up, breathe, all the way down, rest, nice job, quick 20, quick 20, not bad, let's push our weight back into our heels, into our hips, Breathe. Let's give the shoulders a breather. Let's do one of my favorite post-match, sometimes pre-match stretches here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna relinquish all control of our right shoulder to start. She's gonna kind of retain here. We're gonna work up once we feel like we're really not doing anything, but driving from our upper body to cause this arm to move. We're going to try to go into a pot stir motion. So stir the pot. Let it hang initially. Relinquish all control. Relinquish all control. So we're not forcing it with our arm. We're not strict going like this. We're here. We're driving from up here. Should loosen it up a little bit. And let's switch. Relinquish all control. Let's take this time here. Let's take this time to breathe. Get some energy. Shake it out a couple more seconds here. Five, four, three, so hot. And rest. All right. What we're going to do here, we had a nice 40 second intermission there. So we're going to get back at it. Yeah, we're going to do a yoga plank. So we're going to be in this position, straight, straight up plank position. We're going to work to go cross and under to the opposite elbow and to the same elbow with our knee. Opposite, same side. Opposite, same side. Knee does not touch the floor. We're up, tightening our core. Okay. Right after that, we're going to knock out just our three best push ups. That's it. Ready? Let's go for it. Cross body, same side. Cross body, same side. Cross body. Same. And rest right away. Three best push ups. And then you guys can stand it up. We got 25 second breather here. 
and we're gonna get right back at it. We're gonna go single leg hip drive. We sit, let's get back at it. Deep breath. Right foot on the floor, left foot to the sky. We're gonna explode with that foot. We're gonna come up, and we're gonna hold, okay? This is traditionally how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna rev out five like that. Now I want you to pay attention to my heel on my right foot in this next one, okay? Up. I'm gonna explode up, I'm gonna come up onto my heel. So I'm pointing my toe up as well, down here. That's one that I'm wiggling, okay? Normal is here. And then this is what we're gonna do the second time. Helps you get a little bit of an extra lift. We're also activating a different muscle group there. So, right leg on the ground, normal. Flat, foot it on the floor, let's explode it up. One, two, back down before my butt touches the floor. Up, explode, back down, explode, the way up, back down, explode, the way up, back down. Last one here, back down. Now, five more, we gotta go up. That heel. Come on, three more. One more. Push, slow up, and rest. Shake it out. All right, next one. Foot up, explode up. Two second hold. Back down before the butt touches the floor. We're going right back in. Remember, we're setting the tone. You set the tone for yourself, and then you keep going. After five, remember. Exploding up, working on our heel now. Our toe is pointed up on the ground. Let's push, last two. Let's push, fair pace with me, last one. And let's rest. Let's pull yourself up, we're gonna breathe for a second. We're gonna go right back down and do another glute exercise. This one's kind of tough. Glute bridge walkout. So, bring me back here. We're going to do a hip up to start, so it should look normal, all the way up. Then we're going to walk out on our heels as far out as we can without letting the floor touch any part of our leg. Then we're going to walk it back with little taps on our heels, keeping our hips up. Do a hip check at the top because it's natural for our hip to dip lower, but we got to fight and tighten our core. Walk our feet out as far as you can. Let's go back up. All right. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Let's breathe. Whew, I did two. Get ready to feel the burn. Ready? Up. Walking out. Walking out. Let's hold for a second. Hips up. Walking back out. Hip check at the top. Walking out. Walking out. Walking out. Hold. Hips up. Hips up. Feel the burn. Taps on the way up. Don't drag your feet. I almost did a little bit. Walk it out, hold, back up, hip check at the top. Last one, let's go for a five second hold. Get those hips up. Walk out as far as you can, hips up. And rest. Woo. All right, we're gonna pull one leg up. Both arms are gonna go under the knee. We come up slowly. That's a safe way. Sometimes it prevents a head rush. Okay, so if you guys are going a quick sit, we're almost done. Let's keep pushing through this. Okay, we got it. Take this next one. We're gonna get back at it shortly. But take this one to regain some energy. What I mean by that is it's not too hard. So Dial it in, let's regain some energy because we got some other ones right around the corner. Left arm, back to the head. Okay, we're gonna go under to the opposite elbow. Then we're gonna open up, try to point that elbow to the sky for a hold. Back to neutral, neutral is the starting point. So we're gonna go under, open up, back to neutral. Okay, let's go here for about another. We did two, this will be three. Let's go five more. We're gonna go eight per out of here.
went up to the sky, open up. That's the neutral time. Under. Opening up our back, thoracic spine rotation. Let's hold. Under. And open. And we're switching. Ground pace with me. We're going under. Open. Back to neutral. Before we start. You might notice like a couple of these ones that we start with the gang. We can feel a little bit more flexible on one side. It's normal. Let's identify what side we need to work on. And then the exercise that you figured it out, let's try to do that a little bit more often. You need to reset, reset. Like I said, cool it down a little bit right now. We're about to pick it up though. Let's regain some energy. Let's push our hands up. Let's sit back. Let's just breathe. We're gonna have our palms open right here. On our lap. Let's take a second, breathe. Close your eyes. Breathe. All right, let's get back at it. What we're going to do here is we're going to be up and we're going to work on our hips. We're going to work on how flexible we are. So let's take a step out. Like we're going to pass the bottle. We're trying to get as low as we can. Chest up, back straight. Okay, one leg might be a little bit off the ground, like you notice there. If we can, let's try to keep that foot on the ground. But if we feel like we get lower, it's okay to lift it up. Okay, we're from this position. We're going to push. Back up, we're gonna go right back down. Pass that ball, push up, okay? Should be nice and smooth. Push up, back down. Pass that ball, push back up, back down. Push up, back down, pass that ball. Here. To here, so we're exploding on that foot that's down through the floor, push through the floor to get back up. So we're going for 10 per side, back to neutral. Let's visualize a ball coming past our midline. Let's get low, let's pass, come back up, come back up. Remember, it's okay if we need to, if we feel like we can get lower, drag that foot or lift it off the floor. Let's be nice and calm on the way up, pass that ball. Push, lay up. Here, to up. Explode, let's be strong, let's get low and up. We're going down, let's breathe. Slow it down. Up nice and slow. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into squat position right here. Okay, coach the squat position. We're gonna fall forward, okay, with our arms in. This is called a gorilla push up. So we're gonna fall forward just about to right here, and then we're gonna push back up and roll. Okay, that's variation number one. Variation number two, I'm gonna turn the side so you can see. It's my favorite coaching position right here, just like we're chilling. We're gonna keep our elbows off of our knees the second time when we fall forward. We're catching from here and we're pushing back up. There, to back up. So variation one, okay, elbows in, tucked in, we're here, we're pushing back up. Okay, we can try a couple of these ones. If you wanna feel like you can go for it, we're gonna roll and we're gonna explode up. Sound good? You guys are gonna go for 30 seconds. I got a timer right here. So three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna check who's here. See how we guys are doing. Kaylin, good to see you. Maya, Jason, I like it. Greer, nice. We got a good group. Jenna, good to see you. Kirsten, Claudia, Chris Burzens, I like it. Liver Melon, Viv, Riser, Charlie Pogborny, nice. I like it. 
Cool. Let's get back at it. You guys got another 10 seconds here. Eight, seven, six, five. We got it. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and let's rest. All right, so we're going to get right into it here with the yoga push up. So we're going to be out here. Okay, two variations again, your choice. Let's push ourselves. Let's go with one push up, walk, tap the opposite toe. Push up, up, tap the opposite toe, back out. Okay. Variation two is we're just going to go here. We're going to walk to our toes and back out every single time. Okay, if we're doing a variation two, I would like you guys to extend far up here and then walk to your feet. So it's a little bit harder. Okay, otherwise, variation one, let's keep going. Stay with me. We're almost done. Let's find a rhythm. It's variation one. Variation two, remember, walking our arms out, walking our arms in. Tap that foot out. In, tap the foot. Let's go. Another 10 seconds here. Let's push. Whichever one we're doing. Mix it up. If you need to, if you're hurting, mix it up and rest. Knees can come down. Let's breathe. Let's breathe again. Let's lean back. Palms up. Let's breathe. We got it. We got this. Almost done here. Let's push to our side. Like right, we're chilling on the couch watching Netflix. Elbow's going to be in. Glued to our hip. We're going to push through the floor. We're going to come up to a straight arm. Body weight tricep. Slow through the floor. Come up. Slow. Come up. That's what we got. And I'm starting to get tired too. We got it. Explode. Then I tap. We're going to eat per side. Push through the floor. Work to get that arm straight. Push it up. Come on, we got it. Once you're done with eight, flip over to the other side. Try to angle myself so you guys can see. We're here, right to the belly. Get another arm behind you. Let's push through the floor. Try to get that arm straight. Explode. Straight arm. Body weight, tricep. Let's feel good. Going into the weekend. We did it. Whew. Almost done. Let's push. And let's rest. Last thing on our checklist. Okay, we got to close it off with something fun. So we're just going to do a quick plank here. Okay, we're just going to do a quick plank. I'm not going to tell you guys how long we're going. Ready? Three, two, one. Just a little surprise. We're going to do a couple variations here at this point to close off the workout. You got it. Let's tap our feet really lightly. Light taps. Push ourselves up, back down, up, back down, up, back down. Try not to let your hips sway that much. Hold. And Rest. Nice work. You guys just completed another Friday. Wish you guys could see how much sweat's on the floor. Hope you guys are working hard over there. Okay, I feel great about this one tonight. I needed this one. Uh, you guys have been, I can't say it enough, you guys have been motivation for me, keeping me healthy, keeping me sane over here. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, we got a lot of girls in here from the 16 green team. Go hustle up, shower. We got a team meeting right after this one on Zoom. 
So see you guys soon, everyone else. Thanks for uh, thanks for popping in. Again, thank you. cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are keeping me going. Let's get some water, protein. Let's have an awesome weekend. See you guys.